fun now. We've, we've got a fun now oh, already. Oh, hello, <laughs> hello. Just had to work out how to do that, doing it slightly differently this week. Um, but there we are. All right, I'll be back in a jiffy. Then we'll be Oh, okay. Hi. Just going to set the screen up a bit better. There we are. Good. Okay, so this week we're going to be doing um, a routine that will strengthen and stretch the whole body. We'll focus a little bit more, not just on hips, but also shoulders this week. So perhaps if you know you're a little bit tight, you might want to grab a belt. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of lunging into some hamstring stretching. So you might want to get a couple of bricks or books so you can pop your hands on if you find it difficult to get to the floor. The cat's meowing away, who more the cat. So we'll just wait for our model to come back and then we'll get going. Okay. So do, um, if you've got any questions, you know that you can always email me or message via Joe. If you've got any questions about anything that we're doing or um, you want to check in about an injury that you might have and how to work with it a bit more, you can always check in um, via email at karenbennettyoga.com or at karenbennettyoga at gmail.com or you can grab Joe and he'll let you know what we're going to be. Uh, how to get hold of me. We'll be back in two minutes. Two seconds. Hopefully two seconds, Harry. We'll wait for him to come back. Oh yes, it is two seconds. Here he is. No. Public are waiting. Oh, are they? Oh, oh hi, Joe <laughs> here. Jo yes, it's Joe here for Joy Rider TV. And uh, as always with these sessions, um, we're here with uh, the cat and with Karen, our teacher. <laughs> I told them what they need. You've told them everything. I told them everything. Okay, we'll just give it uh, what one minute and thirty seconds, okay. and then we'll kick off and get stuck in. Nice to have you all with us here this afternoon. I hope everybody's had a lovely day. It's been it's been really good here. <laughs> Don't want to shout about it though. You have great sailing videos coming up. Oh, we've got White Knight. Show us your cat. Oh yeah, <laughs> the cat is just um, yeah, he's looking. Um, okay, good. So I reckon that's about a minute. Do you mm. Do you want to grab um, maybe the green oh, the one to sit on? Oh, yeah. This, oh, nice. yeah, maybe the, the belt. So okay. want the belt just for later. <laughs> okay. Good. So we're going to make a start. So if you're joining us for the live session, come and find your seat. Maybe lift up your hips so you get the hips a bit higher than the knees. And then just sit with your um, right leg in front of your left leg in an easy cross-legged position if you can. And then you might want to just grab the flesh of the bum and just pull it aside so you can find your sit bones. And then just let the hands rest on your lap. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. You can close your eyes. And exhale everything out your mouth. Just do that once more. Inhale through the nose. Exhale it all out the mouth. Let the shoulders drop. Okay, open your eyes. Bring your hands down in front of you. And we're just going to start to walk our hands out. So going into a forward bend. Try and think about the sit bones staying connected back towards the earth as you fold forwards. And you can just drop the head. And then just let a nice breath come down your back, filling the back of your heart space, down into your kidneys at the lower ribs. And just exhale it all out your mouth. So we just do that a couple of times. Breathe in through the, the nose and fill your back body right down towards your hips. And exhale it all out your mouth. So just once more, just notice the back body. Notice the hips, notice any feedback you're getting. Good, and then inhale, walk it back up. 
And then we're just going to turn towards the right knee and then just start to fold a bit towards the right. So you're just putting the hands out over the right knee a bit, keeping the sit bones back and drop the head and just get that nice stretch from your um, left fingers all the way down through the outer ribs towards your head and down towards the glute and just breathe into all of that space. Good. And then inhale, come back up. Come back to centre, come to seated. Bring the hands back behind you, perhaps on your block if you need to. And inhale, reach the heart up and forwards. And just take a breath there underneath your collarbones. And then exhale, come back. And then we're going to change the cross of the legs. So you're going to take the left leg in front. Again, we're going to bring the hands out, finding that forward bend. So just feeling down the back of your spine, really taking the breath through the back of the heart space, down into the lower ribs, into the back of your sacrum and around the base of your hips. A couple of breaths. Then we're going to inhale, walk the hands back up. Turn towards the left knee and then exhale a little over that side, keeping your sit bones down. Stretch those right fingers away. Really take the breath down the right side of your body, under the armpit, down through the ribs, into that space between ribs and hip. And breathe deeper. Jaw is soft, eyes are soft. Notice that fascial line all the way down the side body. And then inhale, walk it back up. Come to centre, stack your spine and bring your hands back behind you. And again, raise the heart centre up, breathing deep under the collarbones, right up in the top of your lungs. And then come back to find your seat. Good, come off your block now. You're going to come over onto all fours on your mat. Okay, and then just have your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. And we'll just get that spine warmed up with the cat-cow again. So as you exhale, drop the tail and the head, arch the back. Inhale, start to let the space between the uh, shoulders drop down, raise the head, feel the tail go long. Exhaling, drop the head, drop the tail. Inhale, feel the belly expand, feel the heart float forwards, the tail float back. Two more. Just notice as you do it, if one side of your spine feels a bit more raised than the other in the musculature, notice the front of your spine as you move. Notice any sticky places in the body. Good. And then just come back to hands and knees with the spine neutral. Okay, so from here, we're going to work a little bit of abdominal strength and also a little bit of hip mobility. So hands underneath your shoulders. We're going to inhale, lift the right leg back, and we point the toes, and we keep the knee towards the mat. So we keep pointing the knee down. As you exhale, start to draw the knee towards the nose. Curl your back like you are in cat. And then inhale, stretch it back. Try not to lift the hip. Keep the hip nice and close towards the mat. And exhaling again, knee towards nose, curling and opening the upper back. Inhale, take the leg back, point the toes, keep the knee towards the mat. And exhale, draw knee to nose, curl that head down towards the knee. Inhaling, we're going back, lengthening, lifting the head as you do that. And exhale, knee towards the nose. Good. Last one. Inhale back, stretch out through the front of that hip, lift the head, heart centre, lift. Good, and then pop down. I'm going to do the other side. So you inhale, stretch the left leg back, press the toes away, feel the knee point towards the mat, and exhale, draw knee towards forehead, rounding that space between the shoulders. So again, inhale, take it back. Exhale, knee in, and again, round through the shoulders. Good. Notice if one side's a bit easier than the other. Two more on each on this side. Again, be mindful of that hip not opening up. Exhaling in. Last one, inhaling out. 
And exhaling in. Try and really draw a knee into nose. Really curling. Good. And bring your knee back down. Good. Okay, from here, just take the hands a handspan or so forwards. So we're going to do some little chaturangas to side planks. Okay, so it's like a mini press up. So you're going to come forwards, bring your shoulders over your wrists, lengthen the tail. And then as you inhale, start to draw forwards. Keep space in your shoulders, keep your belly button towards your spine. Exhale, push back up. We're not going all the way down and come over. So we stretch the top leg over and we inhale, reach the arm up. Exhale, come back. Inhale. Exhale to that mini push-up. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, open up to the other side. Inhaling. Exhale, back down. Finding your mini push-up. Inhale, press up. Exhale, open out. Bring the arm up. Stretch that top arm over. Press the hip up. Inhale, come back. Exhale to the mini push-up. Inhale, coming back up. Exhaling over, opening up on the inhale. And exhale, back down. Find the chaturanga position once more. Inhale, press. Uh, exhale down. Inhale, press up. Try and keep those shoulders open. Exhale, open up to the left. Draw the right arm up. Inhale. And exhale, come back over, mini chaturanga push-up with your breath. Inhaling, coming back up. And exhale, opening up onto the right side. Press the hips up. Imagine someone's got the top arm. And then exhale, back over. Come back to child's pose for a moment. So feet together, knees a bit wider. Just take a breath, really breathe into that back side of your body. And then inhale up to all fours. Come up to down dog. Good. Just find your breath. So again, we want to check that our spine is long in the down dog. We're pressing that first finger mound into the mat. We're sucking our triceps to the arm bones. And as you press that first finger down, we sort of protract the arm bones slightly in the forearms. And we see if we can create some space around the shoulders a little as we roll the upper arm bones out slightly. The outer hips are lifting. We're feeling our breath. Good. And then from here, we're going to exhale and walk our hands back towards the feet. Okay, so you can bring your hands to your legs. Bring your feet wider than your hips. Take an inhale. And then exhale, drop your bottom. So you're going to come into that Malasana squat pose we did a lot last week. If you need to, you can pop a block underneath the bottom. You can roll a towel up underneath your heels. Try and feel the length of your spine here. Take a few breaths, easing in. Just notice what's going on in your ankles. Notice what's happening around the lower back. And then exhale the hands down, and we're going to come to a forward bend. So just lift your shoulders up above your hips, take an in-breath, and then exhale and fold down. Just let your arms come in front of you and take your elbows. So you're in this forward bend, and just breathe here, feeling the weight of the head drop down. Feel the belly expand as you breathe in. And draw back as you exhale. Let the jaw be soft. Let everything just drop out the head. Good. And then from here, release your hands. Take the hands to the legs. Take an inhale. Reach through the length of your spine. Exhale, hands to hips. Bend the knees slightly. And inhale, press through the feet and come up to stand. Stay at the back of your mat. Bring your hands to your heart space. Good. From here, we're going to inhale, reach up, look up. Exhaling, we're going to squat back down into Malasana, into the squat. Good. Take an inhale here. Exhale, come forwards onto all fours. Just crawl forwards to your all fours. Inhale here, let the head lift. 
Exhale back to your down dog. Take a breath at down dog. On the inhale, raise the right leg. We're going to exhale, step the right foot up between the hands. We can drop the back knee if you need to to get it there. Take an inhale at the runner's lunge. Be active in that back leg. Bring the heart center forwards. Look ahead of the hands. Exhale, bring the knee down. Come up on the inhale, hands to hips. Lift the front hips and raise the arms up. So it's like what we did last week. We're going to add into this. Take a couple of breaths, squeeze the inner thighs to each other, and then exhale the hands down. From here, we're going to bring the hips back and straighten the front legs. So you might need your blocks now underneath your hands. So we lift our front toes, and we just start to brighten again the hamstring and underneath that front leg. So we can drop the hips back a bit more this week. Just start to lengthen back and drop your heart a bit more over that leg. Breathe here, notice, connect, breathe. Use the exhale to try and soften any areas that feel quite tight. Another couple of breaths. Good, and then on the inhale, we're gonna come forwards again, plant the hands, find that low lunge with the hands on the mat, and then we're gonna lift back to down dog. Step back, take a couple of breaths, just ease in. Okay, then from here, we're just gonna take a little vinyasa. So you're gonna come forwards on the inhale and find your plank position. Shoulders over wrists, belly to spine. From here, exhale, drop the knees, and then try and lower your thighs, then your hips, your belly, and your lower ribs to the mat. So you're coming down really controlled. Bring your hands back beside you with the palms down. So, yeah. And then we're going to lift the right leg on the inhale. Fan your toes. Lift your left leg. Fan the toes. Lift your heart space. Feel that you're really connecting sit bones to heels. Lift the arms. Bring the hands in line with your shoulders. So this whole back line of your body is now working. Down the paraspinal muscles, the glutes, the hamstrings. Exhale down. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Press back up to a half plank, inhale. And exhale through to down dog. Take a couple of breaths. Feel that connection of your hands. Inhale, raise the left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot up between the hands. Help it there if you need to. And notice one side's quite different. Really press the back leg away, be in the runner's lunge for a moment. Then exhale, drop the back knee to the earth. Come up, hands to hips, lift the hip points. Inhale, raise the arms up as it's comfortable for you. And find your breath here. Again, feel that connection of front hips lifting, tail dropping. That back hip flexor having a really nice stretch. Good. And then we're going to exhale the hands down and find that hamstring stretch. So that's hands to blocks. Bring your bottom back towards your heel on the back leg and lift your front toes and dive your heart center forwards over your leg. And breathe into this hamstring here. Just notice what you've got going on on this side. Try not to have the shoulders to raise up around the ears so you're bracing. Try and stay soft. Good. Another breath. Then let's inhale, come forwards into that low lunge with the hands on the mat. And exhale, find down dog. Take a couple of breaths. Feel your hips lift, your heels descend. Then exhale down to all fours. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, crawl back to your malasana, your squat pose. Drop your bottom. Lift the heart center. Take a couple of breaths here. Feel the breath. Then inhale, reach wide. Press through the feet. Come up to stand. And exhale, hands to heart space. Inhale, reach up now. Look up. 
Exhale, fold forwards to your forward bend. Come from the hips, bend the knees as you need to. Inhale, reach the heart forward, spine that long front spine, and exhale, back down. Just hold your forward bend. Take a couple of breaths. Again, just feeling that brightening of your hamstrings, the length of your spine. Good. And then from here, we're going to come to Utkatasana, intense pose or chair pose. So we bend our knees, we drop the bottom, lift the heart and raise the arms up beside the ears. Or maybe they need to be more in front. And you can breathe here. If shoulders are an issue, we can take our cactus arms, arms out in a goal post type position. Then inhale, press through the legs, find your way up to stand. And exhale, hands back to heart space. Good. Take a breath. You feel okay? Not going to pass out. <laughs> okay. We inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're going to squat down to Malasana, coming into the squat. Take a breath here. And then exhale, hands down, find all fours position. Come forwards. Take an inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, come back to down dog. Take breath in down dog. Inhale, raise the right leg. Exhale, step it up. And you can either drop the back knee or we can progress it now and come up on the inhale, bringing hands to hips and lift the arms up and find a high lunge, a crescent lunge here. Keep that back leg active. Feel the breath here. From here, exhale, hands to hips, and then straighten the front leg and plant the back heel to the mat. Take an inhale, and then exhale, fold over the front leg. You can bring the hands to blocks, or you can keep the hands on your hips. Feel the front of that hamstring now, and you can see about lifting the toes on the front leg if you want to. A little bit more juicy when we do that. Then we can drop the toes and we're going to bend the front knee, bring the hands to the earth and step back and find down dog. Good. And just feel the breath again here for a moment. Roll forwards on the inhale, find plank. Exhale, lower the knees down and come with control to the mat with that heart space open. So we need to come more forwards than we think. Inhale, find your locus, so the hands are back, we lift both of our legs, we lift the heart space. Exhale, back down, bring the hands under the shoulders and press up on the inhale, half plank. Exhale, back to down dog. Take a couple of breaths, settle in. Inhale, reach the left leg high. As you exhale, step the left foot up between the hands. So again, options here to drop the back knee and do it like we did on the first round. Will we inhale and come up, find the high lunge, reaching the arms up, keeping that back leg active. So we want that front shin perpendicular to the mat if we can. Then we exhale, hands to hips, and we try and straighten the front leg. We might need to shorten the stance a little here. Okay, so straighten the front leg, and then we fold over the front leg, feeling our breath, trying to keep that front sit bone, that left sit bone, shooting back to the wall behind you. Lunge, hands to the earth, and step back and find your down dog. Take a breath. Good. Exhale down to all fours. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, crawl back, find Malasana. Squat pose. <laughs> <laughs> and then take a breath here. Inhale, reach wide, press through the feet, come up to stand, arms above you. Exhale, hands back to heart space. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold and forwards, forward bend. Inhale, find the length of your spine. And exhale, fold back in. So think about belly towards your legs, chest and knees, and hold it here. Feel your breath. 
Good. Then we're going to bend the knees, drop the bottom, inhale, find that chair posture, lifting as chest up. You might not be able to get quite so low as Joe. Bring the arms up a little, feel your breath. And then inhale through the legs, come to stand, press through the legs. And exhale, hands back to heart space. <laughs> feel your breath. Okay, from here, bring your hands behind you into lock the hands. You might need a belt between the hands here. We're going to inhale, reach up through the heart, press the hands back. And exhale, bend the knees, start to fold forwards like you're bringing your belly towards the legs, chest to your knees, head drops. Reach those hands up and over a bit more. Feel the shoulder girdle really lifting from the back. And breathe. Some deep, even breaths. So if you feel it's too strong in your hands, you can and your shoulders, you can have hands on the hips with the elbows up. Otherwise, you stay with the hands like this. Then we're going to use the arms, really press up with the arms, press through the feet and come up to stand. Inhale it. And exhale, roll out the shoulders. And just give your feet a little step up. Good, so just come up to the front, to the middle of your mat, and you're gonna step the feet wide on your mat. You're gonna take a couple of standing postures, so focusing a bit on shoulders today as well as our strength and our hips. So going wide, you're gonna take the right foot to 90 degrees and turn the back toes in from the back heels, you need to go a bit wider. So you're gonna find Virabhadrasana two legs. So you're gonna bend your front knee, have the knee above the ankle, shuffle the back foot back from there until you feel that nice stretch across the inner hips. Try and have your hips level. And then I want you to raise your right hand up to the ceiling and exhale the hand down behind the head or between the shoulders if you can get it there. And just let that top elbow poke up. You might want to just bring the other arm up and hold the elbow and press that elbow back. That might be as far as you work at the moment. Or if you've got the shoulder flexibility, you can bring this hand, this left hand around, and you can try and hold your fingers or hold your T-shirt. And you breathe here. Keep that knee towards the small toe on the front leg and feel the torso is just following the line of your hip. So again, if you can't get the hand up, you could always use a belt here, but just grabbing your T-shirt also works. Okay, from here, we're going to inhale, straighten the front leg, and then we're going to turn the feet forwards. We can keep the hands in this lock if we like. If it's too much, you can take hands to hips. We inhale, and exhale, fold forwards. So if you've got the grip of the hands between the shoulders, it's just pressing lightly at the back of the heart space. You've got a little bit of a back bend there. So if it's too much with the hands like this, just hands on hips with elbows up. And just feel here that you've got the sit bones dropping down towards the earth or towards the heels. And you've got that space for your sacrum. Again, feel that you expand your toes and breathe. Notice the inner sides of your legs, the outer seams of your legs. Find the breath. Then press through the feet. Inhale, come up to stand. And we're going to exhale, take the left foot to 90, back toes in a bit. On your right, good. Bend your left knee. Good. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Take an inhale. Exhale, hand down behind the shoulder, behind, sorry, the neck or the centre of your back. And you can use that top arm just to help it up or you can reach the other arm around. And you'll see there's quite a difference between the sides. Keep that knee to the small toe side. Let the torso, the chest, follow the line of your hips. Feel that back leg active. Feel your breath. So hips are open to the side, breathing here. Then inhale, straighten that left leg. Exhale, turn the toes forwards, and then fold forwards from here. Again, you can release the arms if you want to and have hands on hips. 
And then just again, fan the toes. Feel that space in the front of your chest. The elbows are just pressing up a bit to the ceiling if hands are on hips. Or if we're in this lock, this Garandasana lock, we're just working, sorry, Gomakasana lock, we're just working in that space. One more breath. And then inhale, press through the legs, come back up. And exhale, release. Just roll out your shoulders, step your feet in, give them a little wiggle out. Good. Take your feet wide again. And this time, turn your toes out from your heels so they'd be at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock on a block base. Okay, I want you to bend your knees and track your knees in line with your big toes. Bring your arms out in front of you and then try and take your right arm over the left. Bring the backs of the hands or palms of the hands towards each other. If that doesn't work for you, you can just bring the arm over and work here. Okay, if you've got this uh, stance, you can then fold forwards. Try and keep the knees towards the little toes and dome the back and just breathe into the back of your lungs here. So we keep dropping our tail down and we really feel this space behind the heart down across the back of our chest as we breathe. So we keep the knees over the ankles. So maybe don't go far so far down. Think more about keeping the legs and breathe. Then inhale, press through the feet. Find your way up. And imagine you're gonna press the walls away strongly as you release the arms. Exhale, hands to hips. Turn your toes forwards, take the heels a bit wider, bring your hands around behind you, interlock the hands, you can hold your belt, inhale, and exhale, fold forwards. Let the arms follow you, bend the knees if you need to. Remember, you can hold a belt between the hands if you feel that it's too much for the shoulders. Or we can work with hands on hips again and elbows up. Just feeling your breath here. Then let's use those arms strongly. Come back up on the inhale. Exhale, release, roll out the shoulders. Turn the heels in, toes out, that last stance again. So perhaps a bit narrower. Yeah, bend your knees, drop your hips, bring your arms out. Either just take left arm over or cross the left arm on top of the right. Again, with our feet out in this goddess stance. And then we start to fold forwards. We really breathing into the back of the heart space, head dropping. So it's not so much about how far forwards you're going. You're letting the fingers drop towards the air, keeping the knees towards the small toes, the seat dropping, and we're breathing into the back of the heart. Then inhale, come up. Press the walls away as you unlock. And exhale, hands to hips. Turn the toes forwards, heels a bit wider than toes. You okay? Getting dizzy? <laughs> okay, Joe gets a little bit dizzy after the forward bends. Okay. It's okay, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, toes are forwards, heels out a bit wider. And then you might want to grab a block and have the block down in front of you. So we're going to work into a twist. If you need to stop, I can do Okay. okay, so we're going to inhale, exhale, fold forwards, bring your left hand down to the mat just underneath your heart space, have your right hand on the lower back, and then just notice your hips here, try and keep them level, take an inhale, really lift the heart forwards, and exhale, start to roll that right shoulder up, and breathe that. If that's enough, just stay here, or we can reach that right arm up and feel our breath there. So we have the palm towards the wall to the, that we'd be looking at. When we breathe, so you can look sideways if you want. Might help the head. Then exhale, release the hand down. And we're going to swap sides. So inhale, lift your head to release the pressure of the head. Exhale, bring your right hand down. Bring the left hand to the lower back. Inhale, lift the heart forwards. 
Exhale, start to roll the left shoulder up and reach the left arm up as is comfortable. Try and keep, oops, sorry, the, the hips level and feel your breath. So this is a revolved wide-legged stance. And we just feel a nice twist through the upper thoracic spine through to the crown. And then exhale, hands come down. Bring the hands to the hips, press into the feet. Inhale and come up. And exhale, just step up to the front of the mat. Just take a moment and then come to sit on your bottom. Good. Okay, so let's just bring our feet out in front of us. You might want to grab something to pop underneath your seat. Okay, and we're just going to work with a little twist into a tabletop. And then we'll leave it there for today. Okay, so just feel that you've got both sit bones well connected, legs out in front. So we might need to go higher with the seat if you're a bit tighter. Bring your right leg up and then cross it to the outside of the straight leg, the foot. Good. Bring your um, left, uh, right hand and hug, left hand, sorry, and hug your knee and bring the right hand behind you. Okay, from here, inhale, find the length of the spine. And as you exhale, start to turn that right shoulder around behind you. So you can hug this knee in a bit tighter. It gives more of a stretch down this uh, IT band into your tensha fasciae latte and your glute. Or you can stay with a more open hug. And just breathe a little here. So really feeling as you inhale that you're creating length and space. And as you exhale, feeling the width of your body. Good, another couple of breaths. Soften your jaw and your eyes. And then inhale, we're gonna turn back to center. Exhale, unravel. And bring your feet to the floor and have your hands back behind you. Now, if you've got some wrist and shoulder stuff going on, you might want to just work here, lifting up through the heart space and just feeling that opening across the top of your collarbones. Okay, if you feel okay, you can bring your hands so the fingers face forwards, okay, and then you're going to lengthen your tail, your sit bones to heels. And we're going to press into the hands and lift our bottom up, trying to draw it up so it becomes level, the hips with the knees and the shoulders. And just look forwards. Keep shooting your sit bones towards your knees and keep pressing your big toe mounds down. Then exhale and release back down. Good. Stretch the legs out in front. And then we're going to take the left foot to the outside of the straight leg. Take an inhale, find the length, and we're going to exhale, bring that left arm behind us and hold the knee with the right hand. And we work round on this side. So again, the inhale to create the length and the exhale to turn into the twist. Space across our collarbones, feeling as we inhale that extension and lengthening and the exhale, width and softening. Be aware of your sit bones. If you can, you walk that back hand closer to your back so you feel the length through the lower back. Last breath. And then let's turn back to centre. And we're going to repeat that little uh, tabletop lift. So either again just sitting trying to lift a little through the collarbones or we're going to lift up into tabletop. So as you inhale, fingers forwards, we press through the hands, we lift up, we shoot our sit bones to our knees, we try and press up as high as we can, and we keep the big toe mounds towards the floor. <laughs> the inner thighs are rolling down to the mat. Another breath. And then exhale, release down. And just come down onto your back. Come off your block if you're on one. And just hug the knees in and just rock a little side to side. 
Good. Okay, I think it'd be nice to just finish with one twist to stretch out the front hip. So bring your feet down to the mat and then lift your bottom a little bit over to the right, just a couple of uh, inches. Okay, bring your arms out wide. Have your feet as wide, if not a bit wider than your hips. And then you're going to drop both knees to your left. Okay, from here, you can then take that left ankle onto the right knee if it feels okay for you. So you might need to walk your right foot further away to the side and shoot that knee more away from the hip on the right leg. So you want to feel that length. And if it's too much, if you're feeling it in your back, if it's pinching, don't do it, okay? Just keep the legs as they were. But this will get you a stretch down the front of that hip and perhaps through the side of the, the, the leg, that lower leg. Can you feel it? Mm. Breathe. Okay, just another so. And then let's release, inhale and come back up. And then just walk the hips back to center, then take them a couple of inches to the left. Again, knee, feet wide. And then drop the knees over to the right. And we can pop that right foot on top of the left knee. And you can just work it from there. Just breathe there. So you can look away from the knees if you want to, or you can stay looking upright. And just again, feel that nice release down the front of the hip, down the side of your uh, lower leg. Throw it back up. Exhale, feet down. Bum. Bring your knees in and just rock on your back. And then just come to lie on the mat, just in your star shape with the arms fairly close to the hip. And take a deep breath, feel here, the eyes close, and just let your bones become heavy to the floor. Just take a few breaths, really just letting everything drop and sink back. And we're finished. So I'll let Jo slowly come round. I hope that helped you today. And We'll be putting this, it didn't for you, Harry. <laughs> so we'll be putting this up onto uh, YouTube um, tonight or tomorrow. It comes up, doesn't it? Yeah, after a few hours. After a few hours, and you can check back at that. Thank you. And thank you very much, Karen, <laughs> for taking us through that pretty easy sequence there, I think. <laughs> But um, well done, everybody who um, who went through that with us. And um, bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming. And uh, yeah, as Karen said, this will be available to watch probably by tomorrow morning. Uh, this should have uploaded, and then you'll be able to go through this again um, in preparation for next week. Um, and of course, you can revisit the previous sessions also. But right now, it's probably time for a beer. So thanks very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs>